brought me out of darkness. Praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. He brought me out of darkness. Praise His holy name. Lord our God, help us, Lord, strengthen us. We come sanctified by the precious blood of Jesus tonight. We come sanctified by the blood of Jesus. Quicken us, Spirit of the Living God. Cause us to experience life. Lord our God, because unto you shall the gathering of your people be. Some of us may be tired from the activities of the day. But Lord our God, we look to you to quicken us by your spirit. Raise us. Raise us up. Let's experience life. great God Jehovah we ask that you give us each day give us tonight our daily bread we come before unto you we come before you Jehovah <laughs> oh we come before you. Help us, help us, help us, help us. Ah. Thou mighty Christ, comfort in us. Comfort in us. You are alive. May we see you. May we experience you tonight. We shall not just we shall not mark time. Let the blood of Jesus Christ avail for us over this meeting. Yeah. Father our God, we look to you every time we gather. You know how our days have been. But Lord our God, we shall not make excuse. We desire to come see you. We desire to come experience you. We desire to have fellowship one with another. We desire and our God. We desire great God to experience your life. You are not a fiction. You are not a fiction. You are not a figment of man's imagination. You are life. You are God. You are real. Ah. And so, Lord our God, we ask. Oh. Send for the chariots of Israel. Holy Spirit of God. Oh, breath. Come from the four winds and breathe upon the slain. O oh, breath, come. <laughs> Holy Spirit, we love you. We love you. We embrace you tonight. Kiss us with the kisses of your lips. Put your mouth in our mouth and give us a divine CPR. Breathe your life. Your resurrection life into your people. Let our eyes be open to see you tonight. I experience you. 
for Lord our God when we come into your presence the Bible says in your presence is fullness of joy and at thy right hand are pleasures forevermore so Lord our God we will come into your presence let your Shekinah glory overshadow every mortality and let us know a resurrection experience oh hallelujah we love you Lord cause us to strike the right chord in the spirit let no offering be in the flesh let us not offer straight fires let us not offer in the flesh but help us O oh God that all of our offerings shall be by the spirit so that they can be an outpouring of the reign of God upon us take absolute control of our God bless all worshippers bless all comers tonight let Jacob's ladder be set in the midst of us. Ah, that ladder, that ladder that is the blood. That ladder that he said he called it Jacob's ladder. That ladder that says, I have a covenant. I have a covenant with you. Though you are not perfect. But the blood avails for you. And so the angels we are sent and descend, taking the things that belong to you in heaven and bringing them into the earth tram. <laughs> Hallelujah. Though you be Jacob. Though you are a one. Though you are Jacob. You have not become Israel. But because you are determined that I will change your name. The blood of Jesus Christ shall avail for all crooked nature. The blood of Jesus Christ will avail for every nature of the supplanter. Every nature that is not of God. And so the angels of God that are ministering spirit shall minister to you that is the hell of salvation. Father, that God, by the blood of Jesus Christ, we say that that ladder is set in the midst of us this evening. And that by the blood of Jesus Christ, that the angels of God, we are sent and into the heavens of God and shall take the things of God and shall minister them to every one of us. To those of us here and those that are not here tonight, we look to you, great God, Jehovah. Take absolute control do for us more than we box of you we love you Lord we love you Jehovah you you that is gracious to your people we desire a revelation a revelation of your arm a revelation of your glory we desire a tangible manifestation of your presence in our lives Great God Jehovah, we love you. We worship you. Great God Jehovah, we love you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. But Lord our God, we also ask that you shall show yourself mighty in this place, in our lives. We desire an increase of your government upon our lives, over our life. That we shall not say, Lord, you are Lord with our mouths. But Lord our God, the things that take place in our life shall speak forth, shall showcase, shall express the Lordship of Jesus in our lives. That the beauty, your beauty, your beauty, your beauty, the invisible God, shall be made manifest in the midst of us. For your word says that you will arise upon us. Arise therefore upon us tonight. And let your glory be made manifest in the midst of us. We desire that your glory be made manifest in the midst of us. So therefore Lord God, 
let your glory indeed be made manifest in the midst of us in the name of our Lord Jesus in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ touch every brother touch every sister touch those that you have indicated recently in the spirit as it is written every one of us shall go forth out of Egypt none shall be left behind Lord our God let none be left behind great God Jehovah we pray tonight that none shall be left behind in the going forth in the in in the moving forward of your people let none be left behind everyone that has an excuse for those of us that are here and those that are not here that have an excuse not to move with the cloud Lord our God we ask that none shall be left behind that you visit everyone and let every one of us here in our local language in the language we can understand what the Spirit of God is saying to the churches Father that God help us to understand the adults, the children for those that are here and those that are not here let us hear in our local dialect in the language we can understand that we can best understand let's hear what the spirit of God is saying in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ quicken us Lord like quicken us quicken us Lord Jehovah quicken us we desire to see you in our spiritual lives in our physical lives in our marriages in the life of our children in, in, in every area of our life for you told Adam he said Adam till the garden keep it oh Lord our God in the process of Stealing our God in the process of keeping our our domain. We ask you to help us, Lord, that no birds of the air, that no serpent, no creeping thing shall be able to come near our garden, near our lives, near our marriages, near our children, near our health, near that which pertains unto us, Lord, for great Jehovah. You are, we come by the blood of Jesus Christ remember what you said remember the covenant you made with Solomon about your house about your temple that the, it shall come to pass that where there be famine in the land and the people stand in your temple and call upon your name that you will hear from heaven and your word also says that shall come to pass that it shall come to pass that where there be pestilence that there will there be bondage the way there be difficulty and your people come to your temple and for your name and your presence in your temple and when they call upon your name that you will hear and so Lord our God we stand in your temple I will bring everything that has been spoken and the things that haven't been spoken before you. To who else shall we go? For it is you that have the word of this life, the word of eternal life, that is able to change us, that is able to transform us, that is able to heal us, that is able to make us to be like you. Lord our God, so we are asking for your beauty upon us. We are asking, oh Lord our God, that when men shall see us, they shall take note that we have been with Jesus. Lord our God, we call upon your name on behalf of this church, on behalf of all of us, even those that are not here, even those that are listening online. We ask, oh Lord our God, that you will touch us. We desire a closer walk with you. We desire a greater walk. We desire that you will touch us we desire that you will transform us we desire lord our god that you do something new we desire to make progress in this work with you we desire to see your beauty revealed not only in our spiritual life in every areas of our life 
Oh, come from the four winds, O oh breath, and breathe upon the slain. Great God, Jehovah, let your favor, let your divine message be upon us. Let the glory of God be seen in the midst of us. Jehovah, we are calling upon your name. We desire that you do something new. We desire to experience something new. We desire to experience a progress in you. We desire to make progress. We desire to make progress. Lord, I go by the blood of Jesus, by the covenant, by the new and living way, by the blood. For you, you're watching that you have made a new and living way. You have consecrated a new and living way, even by the blood of Jesus. The Bible calls it a new and living way. Mean that it is different from the Old Testament way by which people come into blessings by the keeping of the commandments. But in Christ is the is that fulfilled. So Lord God, when we come, it's not by our works. The reason why we receive answer prayers is because of Jesus and his sacrifices. Not because of what I have done. Not because of my works of righteousness. But Lord God, we call upon your name. We, for this church, let this church be built. Let this church grow. Lord God, we desire this for this church to grow. Spiritually and physically. We desire that this church will make progress. Lord our God. Let there be thank God, thank you for the things you are doing in the midst of us. But Lord our God, your words is blessed that they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, or they shall be filled. We hunger for more of you, for more or more of your glory to be revealed in the midst of us. We hunger and thirst for you, for you to touch our lives in a peculiar way. For the gifts and callings of God, the talents of God in our lives to be active and to be activated. Lord our God, for us to be gainfully employed in the body, in this body. For us to be uh, at work. Father, Lord our God, we, we, we desire, oh God, for the Bible says, and the sweetness of the Holy Spirit. Lord our God, we desire to know. The sweetness, increasingly the sweetness that is in Christ Jesus. Oh Lord our God, that sweetness that is in Christ Jesus, we want to find it more and more. The unsearchable riches that are in Christ Jesus. We want to know them. Lord our God, apprehend us and bring us. We want you to showcase us on account of the things that will happen in our lives. Lord our God, that we will grow in grace and in the knowledge of of the Son of God, Lord our God, we desire, Lord our God, that every one of us shall have beautiful experiences that we shall know growth as individuals and as a body, that we shall growth, growth in substance, growth spiritually, growth in spiritual maturity and physical maturity, growth in wisdom, growth. In the in as being skillful in the things of God and in the handling of the things of God, growth, maturity, wisdom. Oh God, the spirit of excellence. We desire that the beauty of Jesus will be seen in us. Lord our God, we call upon your name that you will hear us in this church, that you grow this church also, both spiritually numerically that you add to this church such as should be saved men and women that shall that shall sow that shall be available for this work that shall give themselves to this work but Lord our God we ask oh God that the grace of God shall increase in this place that this place oh God shall be known as a place where God is happy a place, a house, a temple of God where God dwells. A place, Lord our God, where, as it is written, where people shall come and shall have their problems resolved. Oh God, 
Lord our God, for the Bible says, My house shall be called a house of prayer unto all nations. And the Bible says that after the cleansing of the temple, that the sick came and they were healed. Lord our God, we desire that your favor and your mercies shall be in this place by the blood of Jesus Christ. We'll receive it in this church, Lord. That 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 there be quality that these men and women and children in this church shall be quality men and women with integrity men and women and children uh, that that know the lord that have a place in the heart of god father that god we ask that you apprehend us for your purposes that we, you will delight in every one of us again we say that your beauty shall be seen in the midst of us as individuals and as a body but the Lord our God, that it shall be clear that God answers the prayers that we we'll make in this place. That God, that 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 God, uh, uh, that that God, the jealousy of God is upon us. That the favor of God is upon us and upon this church. Lord our God, that though we be young, that Lord our God, young, that no man shall despise our youth and despise the youth of this church but lord our god that we shall have that you promote this church to a place of favor and honor because that that which that will bring great delight to your heart at all times both as individuals and as a body lord our god we we ask oh lord our god that your glory your glory shall be seen in this place we ask that graces shall multiply the grace of the word of God entrance into your word. That word that bringeth change, that bringeth transformation and life. Lord our God, that you give it, that there be a bond to you, that feast, the feast of God will be plentiful in this gathering all the time. That you give us this favor and this entrance, that the feast of God, that Lord our God, every time we gather, even in our individual lives in our families and and when we come together lord that the feast there will be abundant feast of the word of god of this of prayers of worship and praises that everything that gives god joy everything that's supposed to be in a place that god takes pleasure in shall be found in the midst of this church lord our god we desire lord our god that you promote us from where we've been spiritually and physically Lord our God, and that every promotion you give to us, even physically, it shall not provide produce a snare for us. But Lord our God, but that as you promote us in the things of this world, Lord our God, we shall our soul shall not be tra trapped. But that every blessing you bless us shall bring about increases in our lives, spiritually and physically. Father Lord our God, again we say that no one shall be left behind. Do what you have to do to make every one of us to go into the promised land none shall be left behind oh god for even those that are not here for even those that are having situation again we'll bring uh toy before you uh bimbo's daughter as we say lord our god not one shall be left behind in the name of our lord jesus christ every one of us shall go free to serve you and your glory and your mark shall be upon us in lord our god in the name of our lord jesus christ we are praying diverse prayers but lord our god we desire the bottom line is let that glory your glory be made manifest in the midst of this church and let your favor be round about us on every side oh lord our god the devil cannot prevail against any of us the devil cannot prevail against any brother any sister any child if in the past there was any ways the spiritual paths of darkness ancestral spirits have prevailed against any any one of us every or any one of us to whatever degree we we'll bring that before you we we'll report that before you and say lord our god every one of us shall go free there shall not be anything that defiled in our spirit soul our body in our history in our genealogy in our genes if for your words say that if anyone be in christ jesus is a new creation all these are passed away and so lord our god let that which takes place in our life bring glory to you let that which takes place in this church bring glory to you we are asking oh lord our god 
that your glory be shall be made manifest in the midst of us we have none other to turn to but to you and we shall not be ashamed for your word says that there's no one that put their trust in you that shall be disappointed lord our god we put our trust in you holy spirit do your sovereign work in the midst of us holy spirit have your way and glorify jesus in every areas of our life in our marriages in our spiritual life in our calling in our serving the lord in our physical jobs in our health in every areas of our life holy spirit you have been given to us in order that jesus will be glorified in every areas of our life and so we lay we see jesus therefore holy spirit glorify jesus in every areas of our life let the angels of god minister to us when we know when we are conscious of it and when we are not conscious let the ministry spirits uh, or the spirit of god continue to minister 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 to us and let the name of the lord be glorified take absolute control jehovah 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 we love you we embrace you we are in one accord concerning this very thing we desire promotion we desire increase we just like you the same god that did it for jabez we are calling upon you to promote us out of every condition we have been we desire a moving forward we desire abundant life we desire entrance into your world and communion with you we desire to grow in wisdom we desire to mature we desire that you touch every areas of our life do so for us right now do so for us let this all the prayers we have agreed upon be covered by the blood of jesus christ and do for us more than we've asked of you in the name of our lord jesus christ take absolute control and father that god in the name of our lord jesus christ we pray amen scriptures um, I don't know how many of us have took note that this is Sunday uh, most of our prayers have been something about the glory of God and we being encouraged and you know just before Brameka began to speak but before the pray um, these, the word Hezekiah kept coming to me Hezekiah and I when I went upstairs I went to go and look up what Hezekiah means. And Hezekiah means God gives strength. And and when our brother began to pray, that was the the burden of some of the prayers that he prayed. So brother, let's be encouraged. Isaiah twenty eight verse five and six speaks of the fact that God is a diadem of our glory you know, that will be a diadem of his glory and that he giveth the spirit of judgment to them that judge and he will be for strength God will be for strength unto them that turn the battle at the gate hallelujah well let's let's uh, read um, second kings chapter 18 and this also has to do interestingly with hezekiah second king second kings chapter 18 <laughs> and uh, second kings chapter 18 verse i'll just let read from verse 1 and again it's about Hezekiah he says now it came to pass in the third year of Hosea son of Elah king of Israel that Hezekiah the son of Ahaz king of Judah began to reign twenty and five years old was he when he began to reign and he reigned twenty and nine years in Jerusalem his mother's name also was Abby, the daughter of bless you, the daughter of Zechariah. Verse three, and he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that David his father did. 
verse 4. He removed the high places. He break the images and cut down the groves and break in pieces the brazen serpent that Moses had made. For unto those days the children of Israel did burn incense unto it. And he, Hezekiah, called it Nehushtan. And brethren, you know, in the in the yeah, there's a there's a dream as Sister Comfort shared with us about graven images and in the past month or so that word, you know, that idea or concept of graven images has kept coming back and coming back and coming back. And I began to get the sense or impression in my spirit that there is something that the the, that God is pointing his hands onto here that is very very for us Christians and the church Israel was the called the church in the wilderness this was very subtle that the same item that God used for deliverance for a season then this thing became an I am an, an object of worship it became an eye so much so that you know if you read further that I think that, that they actually carried the thing into the temple and they were burning incense onto it. So one of the things Isaiah um Hezekiah what one of the things he did was to commission the priest and the you know the the uh, all the priests and uh, the the Levites say you go and bring out all the stuff that's in there. So we find that not all, he did that which was right in the in the eyes of God. And he smashed this thing, this brazen serpent that Moses had uh, had made. And the Bible said he called it Nehushtan. You know, I read this thing. You know, this word has always it's 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 been with me for a while. You know, some of us have had us pray about it. But it was God on Sunday told me it wasn't the Israelites that called it Nehushtan. It was Hezekiah that called it Nehushtan. And um, what was it? What did that mean? That a people were worshipping this thing without knowing what it was. He took a Hezekiah that got, you know, the, the one who received strength from the Lord to identify what it really was. That this thing is, its time was past. The, the its place in the council of God is over, as it were. God has moved on in His scheme and plan of things, and so that any continuing reference or adulation to this brazen serpent, although used of God in the past, amounts unto idol worship. And the Hushtan, the word that word comes from serpent. Is the same word that is interpreted, you know, that has an origin of a serpentine spirit, and uh, and so that 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 kind of took that this whole story into a new different direction because we read of uh, kings that they did evil in the title in the eyes of the Lord, but Hezekiah said this thing. Although the generations have passed, our forefathers have been, you know, paying on their adulation to this thing. Although it was used of God in the past to bring deliverance, to minister grace at a season, but God has moved on, and so this thing has to be called by the name that God now calls it. It is idol worship. You know, idol worship. You can, it's this is different from that they went to carve stones and wood and did the more like like all the Israelites, you know, the hidden nations were doing. But this one was something very subtle. It is it is very subtle. Subtle is like this the the spirit of the serpent. That, and you know, the 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 
several scriptures began to come to my mind. What was wrong with the that we set us to start with? Isaiah 14. He says, I will ascend unto the hill of the Lord. You know, I will ascend unto the north side. In other words, there was some he it was he that it was the cherub that covered it. But there was something behind in his mindset that was amounted essentially to rebellion or to a challenge or to the the, the, the authority and the supremacy of God. That was, that was one scripture. The other one we'll probably just look at. Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42, just read verse 8, which kind of brings to the fore, brings to the, the open, how serious this matter is in, in God's eye. Isaiah 42, 8, God says, I am the Lord, that is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. My glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. I don't know if I that I need to that that word is self-explanatory, but I I think what the Lord will have us know here, at, at least the way it's been impressed in my spirit, is the this whole thing about turn our attention to idol worship. That it's not when what are the idol worship is. It's not that extreme. It's not the other extreme that God is talking about when we go to do some very weird thing. But this is even all the more so when it has the attachment. It's just that God has used this thing and he has moved on, period. And if God has moved on, we ought to move on. Yeah, it says, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare before they spring forth. I tell before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Uh huh. And it's a done deal. And even more, all the more so, Second Corinthians. I, you know, I typically love that place where it says. Though we know him after the flesh, yet now know we know we him no more. Verse sixteen, yes. Say second Corinthians five sixteen. Wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth going forward, know we him no more. And to to have this come from the spirit of Christ onto those who like physically taught, minister, you know, partook of the Lord's ministry, and they said, although we knew Him after that order, there is a new sense in the which God has done a new thing that continuing in that way amounts unto taking away God's glory. And you know, I has spent the past two days pondering okay god if this is really what you're impressing so why is it that he said jesus said if i be lifted up as the you know as the brazen serpent this one we're talking about now that was called nehushtan that would draw all men unto me and he said uh, and the impression i got my uh, in my mind is this that that in the same way that men and uh, we attach our mindset, our image, 
our imagination onto the things that God has used or is no longer using or has moved on, if only we would move our attention and focus it on Christ, then He would draw all men, He would draw all men unto Himself. In other words, I, I think it kind of emphasizes that same thing, that same idea. Former things are passed away, new things are come, and before it springs forth, um, you know, shall I make it known? And so Christ, although we know him after the flesh, now henceforth know we him no more. It's not sacrilege. You know, you can say this we can say these things and sometimes our mind kind of shut us away from it. But this is brand this is actually what the Lord is calling us on to. Second Corinthians ten, where it says we wrestle not against flesh, not against blood. But against spirit, principality and powers, and that the weapons of our warfare they are not carnal, but mighty to what? Through God to the what? Pulling down of strongholds and every imagination, every imagination graving images the word that translates images and imagination are the same word and 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 so it is this whole point that these imaginations or graving images that have come unto us by um, either by omission or commission or however we may have become entangled with it but God is saying that in this hour it is ha it has to be him or his glory alone he says my glory will I not give unto another neither my praise unto any graven images so that it will not be the imagination our the praise of God cannot go unto the imaginations of men's heart the praise that is due God in this hour, the glory that has to be revealed cannot in any way be given, not even one little iota of it can be given unto the imagination of any man's heart or any man's ability. You can and again, you know, because this Nehushtan speaks of the serpent, that's why it's very it's very, very subtle. It's a very subtle um, spirit. It's a very subtle thing that we have to deal with. But once every thought, every all the imaginations must be brought onto obedience to the knowledge of Christ. Because He alone will be lifted up. Even as if we if He's lifted up in our hearts as we had as it's been done in the past if our eyes focus on him then there is a drawing up there's a lifting up there's a, a calling forth onto higher ground that the that the that the glory that we seek or we ask of god might be of him alone for no man god in this hour i i i, I you know has to deal with this spirit and there is a call you know for us to not just you know there's a sense in we which many many we have ignored this for a while for a season but the time has come that is hezekiah must be on the throne a hezekiah has come or a hezekiah company have come into being who receive strength from God to call Nehushtan what it is that it is idol worship and they cannot stand in the household of God it says that he smashed he broke into pieces that brazen serpent that brazen image that that Moses that, that, that had been a, of, of use in the past and we must call this idol worship its name. And again, I'm reminded of the, the, the dream that the Comfort shared of, of, of 
brazen you know, of graven images. Brennan, this this is I don't know how it's conveyed. You know, I'm thinking of Ezekiel when Ezekiel brought when Ezekiel was brought into the temple, and the spirit brought him to see what the elders were doing, and they he says they might see they might see the images on the in their heart. Yep. So it wasn't like the bread. Those people where I went and be buying, you know, they are building anything. No, it was in their heart. It was the it was the the imagination. They bind down onto the sun, and women weeping for tamos and all that. It was in their image, the image and the imagination. And this must be subdued, brethren, by the grace of God. It says, if when this thing shall as 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 long as Moses is read, then there's a veil upon their heart. But if this veil shall turn unto the Lord, that the veil shall be taken away. This serpentine spirit must be be rent. He must be cast down. He must be smashed or broken to pieces. We must have a people call this idol worship that it is idol worship. For God our Father says, My glory will I not give to another, neither my praise unto any graven image. Father, we just come unto you, O oh God. Help us, Lord. We need your help for ourselves. Lord, we need your help for our our fellowship. We need your help for our, our, our families. We need your help for the church, oh God. That indeed your people will receive strength. Even as Hezekiah's case says Hezekiah means God gives strength. He says that God gives strength unto them that turn the battle at the gate. So that there has their God will raise a is raising as it were a Hezekiah company that must in this hour call this thing by its name. And so whether in the past it's it's been okay for general as generations of of church history and the move of god it's it's idol worship has not been identified and called by its name but there has to be a boldness a strength to arise and say brethren this thing it is used of god it's in the past god has declared a new thing and so any further adulation going further is idolatry i don't know how i just say let's let's interpret that as we may let's interpret that like we pray that the spirit of god will bring this onto our attention and i want to just reemphasize that we this the the, the dream that as the covert as uh, you know um shared with us the graven images thing is is real we don't need to look too far in the church. We see men being glorified. We see men being raised up. As you know, we see men being lifted high in a very subtle manner, in very subtle ways. And though it might sound look okay, but this Nehushtan is appointed unto judgment. And that judgment is that it must be smashed, broken in pieces. For the Lord alone shall be glorified in his house. For it's the Lord alone that must be glorified. The glory that the, we, are at, we seek is the glory of the Lord. It is not the glory of only any man. And so every image that has been graven in our minds father individually corporately we come against them oh god we lay them before 
the fire of the Almighty God. He said, I am a jealous God. My God, my Father, we say, we lay our hearts before you. Father, that you will indeed consume every every idol worship, every idolatry, everything that seeks to take your glory. Even no matter, regardless of how subtle it might be, it is of that serpentine spirit. It comes from the spirit of the serpent. And we must call it what it is. For then if we call it what it is, then can we begin to deal with the matter. It comes in the form of brethren seeking to exercise control over another. It comes in the form of seeking to do the, you know, take control of the things of God. It comes, it's manifested in the spirit of Uzzah. After all, what was, Uzzah, what was wrong with Uzzah trying to help God? What was what was right? Listen, you know, let's help the ark so it doesn't fall. God tells us how how this is the distinction that must be made. That it is His glory alone that must be seen in this hour. Is the Lord alone that must be known? There must be no graven images. Father, we come unto you, O God. That their hearts, yes, their hearts be cleansed, O oh God, from images, Lord. Like every image that is every image out of which arises any imagination, O oh God. Father, we come that they might be judged, O oh God. That Lord, that they might be judged every graven images in our hearts you know I was thinking recently of with this program American Idol and it just you know it's like the light bulb went on do we even realize what we're saying here well American Idol father in the many ways oh God that your people we're not even speaking now of the hidden nation those that don't know you we are talking this matter is in house is in the house our father therefore we ask that you will help us you will have mercy upon your people oh God have mercy upon us oh God father deal with our graven image by your spirit Oh God, our Father, oh every manifestation of Nehushtan, oh God, let Nehushtan be, be made to brought to judgment. Father, bring Nehushtan unto judgment. Bring Nehushtan, oh God, unto judgment in the, in the house of God. For if there is no place for Nehushtan, in the life of God's people. He says that Hezekiah broke it into pieces. He commanded that it be brought out. That the further worship or burning of incense unto Nehushtan be brought to an end. Amen. Father, we say our God. There is a judgment that is decreed or written against the subtle serpent spirit. That which seeks to ascend unto the place of the north, the dwelling and the city of the Most High God. For Satan said in the beginning, I will ascend unto the north. It's in the place of God. Therefore, this rebellious spirit in him was he was cast down for all ages. And that subtle spirit is still working engraving writing images in the hearts of men in the hearts of your people oh god cause our eyes to be open that is in that same isaiah 42 that god speaks of who is blind but my servant Jehovah. it is in that same place in that same passage it says who is dumb they see he said that either they didn't identify it or they identified and they were not willing to speak about it 
my God, my God, have mercy upon us, O oh God. Have mercy, Father. We come that indeed, O oh God, thy glory alone, my God, shall be known in the land. Your praise shall not be given unto any image of man. Your praise, O oh God, shall not be given unto any graven image. It shall not be given to any ministry. It shall not be given to any son. It shall not be given to any sister. My God, my Father, anywhere men point and say, Oh yes, this is my God, my Father. Have mercy, O oh God, upon that people. Mati Gabosu Dakila Moste Tarukasi. Father, have mercy upon us. Have mercy, O oh God. Have mercy, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray for ourselves. We pray for ourselves. For this matter must begin with ourselves individually, O oh God. That there be a clear purging and a cleansing of every of every Nehushta manifestation, O oh Lord. Save us. Yes, indeed, O oh God. Save us. We come unto you, Lord. We lift our eyes up to you. We lift our eyes, O oh God. Wherein we have, have had images, O oh God. We looked unto images or imaginations, O oh God. Lord, we ask that the same eyes be turned unto Christ. For it says that though we know, we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Oh God, for we must know you in the spirit. We must know God and the spirit in the spirit, oh God, not after the image. Moses said unto the children of Israel, you see, you saw that when God talked with you, when God spoke with you, you did not see any similitude of images. Because he says, God knows the mind, your mind, that if you see any image, you're going to make your God to be that Father deliver us deliver us indeed deliver thy church deliver thy people deliver us as individuals Lord let the blood of Jesus indeed be applied unto us that oh God this manifestation every image Oh God, be dealt with in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, the Lord spoke to my heart and said, you know, the reason why that particular um, passage of scripture or that particular imagery was personal to God is that if you read Numbers chapter 21 when the people it was as a result of the sin of the people of Israel that God used the snake you know it was the snake that beat them it was the judgment for having sinned against God and when God had mercy upon them they repented once amongst them he raised a snake in other words, there were a few other places, I think one or two other similar scriptures where the serpent was used. Typically in scripture, serpents are not things that are exactly, they're negative. But there are a few places in scripture where they were used positively. And there was a common thread in all of them. One of such was in Egypt. Uh, when God, by the hand of Moses, used the snake to swallow Pharaoh's snake. It was as it were God taking the crafty in his craftiness you know so when a man now begins to worship that to God that's very personal because that is Christ you know the Bible says in the New Testament that he became like unto his brethren that he may save them you know that he became he that knew no sin became sin so God aligned himself that he may that he may defeat that nature in man so when they went back and began to worship the symbol and lost the spirit you know the scripture says that we are the circumcision 
that worship God in spirit and we have no confidence in the flesh so when we lose the spirit of what God is saying and begin to look down and get caught up in the imagery of it then we have lost what God is saying to us and we begin to worship and the serpent more than anything else was very critical and personal to God because there was a message in it spiritually that God was doing that the people failed to see so when he moved on like brother Chuma said they did not move on many stayed in that place and got caught up in the earthiness or the subtlety or the crafty nature of the of the of the devil but for us it shall not be so I was really moved in my spirit when brother Chuma said we don't need to look far it is here even here in our hearts you know the Lord began to minister to me because I came to that place and I'm not completely haven't overcome in all things but I know I was at that place where I struggled with certain things that you would look at and say you know these are okay you know but I wake up in the morning and that's the first thing my mind goes to and they are normal things seemingly they are okay but the first thing that should be in our hearts is Christ now you wake up in the morning and the first thing in your mind is not to pray you know sometimes it's something that's simple that your first thoughts are not the thoughts of Christ they are legitimate things you know we can look at that too and repent I came to that place where when I woke up in the morning I give you an example I want to catch the news when I have time I want to catch the news I want to know what's going on I want to see politics it might be a slight digression but it is something to look at with regard to first second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 and 5 saying casting down all imagination and high thing some of these imaginations are things that are already in our hearts that we love above the knowledge of Christ or have exalted themselves above the knowledge of Christ there are times when I go to sleep a little early or maybe while my wife and I are watching TV together in our closing moments before we return to bed uh, is fall asleep maybe we'll catch up on uh, God what is this uh, police uh, show that we like to uh, forensic uh, what sometimes I miss out on the sports news on the sports and the scores of my favorite teams so when I wake up in the morning, sometimes the first thing on my mind is to go see the scores of the Braves game the night before. You know, before I go to bed, I'll tell my wife, okay, let me catch up. By that I mean, I need to know how uh, the local teams did. Some of these things, <laughs> you know, so, okay, I'm talking about late at night or first thing in the morning. Praise the Lord. The, the bottom line is, the things that forced catch our attention may not be spiritual things and we oversimplify them oftentimes you know so Lord help us that the things that occupy our hearts and our minds are the things that please you you know souls are perishing they are burdens in the house of the Lord and when the things that, that contend for attention are the things that have no place in the growth of the kingdom then it is time to confront them so on several levels we can look inwards without looking far away and say okay what are the things in our hearts that we need that, that need to be addressed When you said souls are perishing, what the scripture that occurred to me was in Haggai where it talks about you dwelling in your sealed houses while the house of the Lord remaineth lieth waste. The song says, Have your way, have your way. Holy Spirit. Feel our hearts and have your way. As we wait, don't win. Well, 
As we wait, we wait on you, Lord. As we pray, we pray to you. Speak your word into our hearts and have your way. Have your way. days when the Lord is separating indeed the wheat from the chaff. He's calling his own to draw closer unto him. He is at, as it were wooing us, calling us, separating us unto himself. He's calling us, brethren, He's separating us from the things that, that as it were, didn't matter. He's wanting to deliver us from everything that has held us bound. Brethren, the mercies of God remain at shore. They cannot be, be withheld by anything in heaven, in earth, or even in hell. Nothing, no spirit can hinder us as we lay it before him. Even as we have heard tonight, let us continue to look inwards and search. The songwriter said, let us search and try our way and turn again to the Lord. Let us lift up our hearts with our minds or with our eyes unto God in the heaven and turn again to the Lord. 
May the Lord rid us of every graven image. May the Lord, as it were, bring about a reform in our spiritual state. For what Hezekiah did in his time was a reform. What looked okay, after all, what was wrong with it? It was the Lord that brought it, but it needed to go. It was wickedness in the sight of God, but it looked good in the sight of men. Even so, now the things that look okay in our lives, it's not sin, quote and unquote. But God wants it to go. Because He's wanting men for His use. As we prayed on Sunday, I, I just I, I will be remiss if I don't share this because it's been coming to my heart. As we prayed on Sunday, I saw an image of chickens. Chickens. And incidentally, I think it was about the same time I also prayed about eagles. So I began to draw a contrast between chickens walking on the floor and eagles flying in the heavens. We're not called to be chickens. We're not called to be chickens. As Brother Chuma was sharing again this evening, that image came back to me. Maybe the Lord is speaking to me alone. But I, I don't want to be a chicken. I, I want to I, I don't even want to be walking on this earth. I want to be flying in the heavens. And I don't want to be flying on a low altitude. I want to be high, high, high there. But it is this this these things, these images, it is these things that, that cause me to walk as a chicken. Cause us to walk as chickens. Sorry? Yes. We want to fly and soar high. I think the Lord is really speaking some things to us in these days, in this in this little little words that are coming and these burdens that we've been sharing in this house. I believe the Lord is wanting to move us forward. Regardless of what is going on. The Lord is wanting to move us forward. Let us realign ourselves. Let us bring ourselves to that place where Hezekiah came. Remember, many kings had ruled in Israel at that time, and there were a series of bad kings. A series of bad kings. And then suddenly the Lord brought a, a good king that did what was pleasing in the sight of God. God is... God is doing something in this earth. We say, say it over, over and over. But let us not be fooled. Let us not say, oh, we've been saying it over and over. When, what is it? When is it going to be? It is for real, brethren. And God needs you and I to begin to soar high in the heavens. As, as we, as we, as we think, think about it some more, as we go home, may these things stay with us. May we not... May we not forget what manner of men we ought to be. Even as the Bible says, may we not be men who look at ourselves in the mirror, see that we ought to be this, and we walk away and forget. He say, a man who knoweth what he, he is, and who is, I forget that scripture, a man that knoweth what, not what he is, is as a beast that perisheth. Brethren will be called unto high things onto high and marvelous things and they're not going to come easy because we've got to die we've got to put many things to death we've got to destroy everything that the Lord sees to be displeasing For the entrance of your word giveth light and understanding to the simple. Thank you for speaking to our hearts. Thank you because you loved us so much, Lord, that the word of God is not scarce in the midst of us. You speak to us line upon line, precept upon precept. Here a little, 
very little. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, O God, because of your presence in the midst of the church, of your light in the midst of the candlesticks. Thank you for the Hezekiah company that you're raising. Uh, these are peace setters. These are folks who set the standard. Yeah, they, 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 they go for the mark of the price of the high calling of God Jesus. in Christ Jesus. They do not get lost in the crowd. Those are people who stand out. Hallelujah. Who carry the, 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 the carry the banner. Yes. Hallelujah. Father, raise such people in the midst of the camp, O oh God. Raise such men. Let us be named amongst the Hezekiah company. Yes, there were several kings who came and went. Hallelujah. Who got lost in the crowd? Who followed the status quo? Or oh, the time came when Hezekiah became king. Hallelujah. When all things were passed away, behold, all things became new. Hallelujah. Thank you because you are leading us on. Hallelujah. You are raising us up. Hallelujah. The Bible says, if you abide in me and my word abides in you, then you will ask what you will and it shall be done for you by my Father in heaven. Father, we receive the word of God in our hearts. We receive it, O oh God. We receive your word in the name of Jesus and the power of the same. We receive it, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it be as a two-edged sword, O oh God, piercing to the dividing asunder of our soul. My God and our spirit, let it divide the same. Let the flesh be cut, my God, and separated from the Spirit. My God, in the name of Jesus, let there be a clear distinction between the joint and the marrow. Let the Word of God clear things up. Let it be known. Let there be no mixture, precious Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let it discern our hearts, my God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let it not be a word that came as a rain and bounced off our backs lord we receive it upon our heart in the name of jesus my god in the name of jesus yes we yield ourselves unto thee hallelujah lord even the things that seem okay the things that seem legitimate that contend for our agenda that contend for your attention my lord help us my god in the name of jesus sometimes we worry about our children even before god we, we raise our children up before god deliver us deliver us oh god from those things our husbands our wives we worry about our jobs over and above you we worry about the the things of this world like sports my god help us my god in the name of jesus christ the things that you have given us lord help us that we do not worship the gift over the giver help us my lord even the subtle things father we present all to you we lay our hands and our feet our head our heart upon the altar of your presence we yield ourselves, O oh God. We give up our Isaac unto thee, my God. Lord, that you might slay them. We pull down every imagination and high thing that exalts itself against and above the knowledge of Christ. And we bring unto subjection every thought to the obedience of Christ. Oh, blessed be God forevermore. Lord, even as you have released your word to us tonight, we also receive the grace and the ability to walk in the same. 
that it will not be said of us that we are simply a mere hearers of your word and not doers of the same lord we receive the power to walk in that which you have spoken to us for we know that you who have sent the word has also sent the grace to walk in it in the name of jesus christ the things that are nehushtan we call them so in the name of jesus christ we do not hide them we do not call them any other names yes in the name of jesus boldness yes lord in the name of jesus christ hallelujah we do not excuse make for them in the name of jesus we call them their names in the name of jesus christ deliver us from evil precious lord energize us touch us heal us equip us precious lord by the spirit of the most high blessed be your name forever do exceeding abundantly above that which we hear that we we can speak that which we can ask that which our ears my god can con our heart can conceive according to the power that worketh in us blessed be your name forever take all the glory honor power and praise in the midst of the church of god we hear the goings of god we hear the voice of god the bible says that the people of israel that they entreated and said clearly that the word be not spoken to them any longer because they could not endure that which was spoken the bible says that if they did not escape he who spoke from the earth we obviously would not escape hallelujah the punishment that shall be meted out for those who did not heed he who spoke from the heaven for our God is a consuming fire we know O oh God that your mercy triumphs over judgment we know O oh God that even as you are releasing your word of judgment you are also releasing your amen the word of mercy unto us blessed be your name forevermore touch our ears O oh God let the blood of Jesus touch the lobe of our right ear Lord, bow our ear also, O God, that we will be born servants of yours, that we might walk in that which you are speaking, precious Lord. Break it down to us. Let it be the broken word of God, that which you have spoken, that which uh, you will continue to speak even after now, precious Lord. Hallelujah. Let it do us good to the glory of your name. We say we will walk in it many days, many weeks hence, Lord. It shall not be uh, just for today. The Bible says that in the day of the seventh messenger, when it shall, the voice of the seventh messenger, when it shall begin to sound, the mystery of God shall be finished. For if there was a seventh messenger, precious Lord, there was a first one, a second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. And when one sp the second spoke, the first did not cease speaking. For they all spoke concurrently. We ask, O oh God, that the culmination of all that you speak, O oh God, shall ring loud and clear in our hearts, O oh God. Until all the things we do be the things that please you. All the things we speak be the things that please you. Let your name be glorified in our lives, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Amen. has characteristics the mm, we have to do it again since the lord is bringing it back mm, mm. Mm -hmm. god the ego has a very sharp vision this one they talk he sees the storm come he goes above mounts above it again the lord showed us the other day as going on a spaceship to the moon so we are to be looking at the heavenly realm Again, the chicken is cowardly, you know, very timid. God wants to deliver us from the spirit of timidity. Isaiah is the, he who has received strength, strength and boldness, the boldness of a lion. Praise God.
to enable us to catapult us into the things that God has for us to do. But as I was praying, and as that, you know, as I was praying that it wasn't my, I, I knew it wasn't me that was praying that prayer. But I was somewhat worried because I knew the implications of fire being put under your feet to catapult you to that which God's purpose is so that you will walk into it. But on the other hand, the prayer tonight was whatever it would take God for you to somebody pray, either Rolari or Rachuma, or somebody you know, whatever it will take to move, move us, uh, you know, something God help us the purpose is that we, we will come into you know, into his fullness, that's our heart's desire and God grant us the grace That's why the Bible says.